dangerous and on the loose. Detroit police still searching for three suspects believed to have information about several crimes in Metro Detroit, including two murders. This is an extremely violent group uh, that our crime intelligence picked up on on a pattern. Very worried about the safety of, of the neighborhood because yes. mm -hmm. they, they're still, still around here. Where the relentless search stands tonight. Chief James White calling the suspects members of a criminal group. They were spotted yesterday and led officers on a chase into a neighborhood on Trinity Street in the west side of the city where they got away. Police believe the group may be connected to two fatal shootings, a non-fatal shooting and a carjacking all from this past week. And 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels spoke to neighbors caught in the middle of the chaos yesterday about what they saw. The car was right there almost in the corner. Anna Garcia's home side door is right next to the lot the suspect's car pulled into. We saw a, a lot of police outside of our house pointing to our house. Her son Daniel noticed that their side door was open and police believed one suspect that they say is particularly dangerous in his early to mid 20s ran into their home. They start talking to the through the radios saying that everybody come outside with their hands up. We hid in a corner but my mom said we need to get out. Your mom told me that when all of this was happening, you were so scared that you were shaking. What was going through your head when you saw all of those police officers outside? I was like, are they going to arrest us? Did we do something wrong? Detroit police surrounded the home for about five hours. Then after reviewing camera footage, discovered that the suspect never went inside. Behind the lot that these suspects car pulled into and these homes, it's all trees. Detroit police say this made it very difficult to find the suspects quickly, especially because their search helicopter couldn't see through the foliage. They're a very, very violent group. We don't know how far the group expands, but we know we're looking for three. They still haven't found these suspects. I imagine that you might still have some fear today. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh Apparently, this guy has a lot of stuff. It's believed the suspects are connected to four violent crimes from this past week. An armed robbery that resulted in a man named Terry Williams being murdered at a Coney Island on Joy Road. A fatal shooting on West Chicago. A non-fatal shooting on Grand River Avenue. And a carjacking on Ohio Street. If you know anything about any of these crimes, you are asked to contact 1-800-SPEAK-UP. We are going to relentlessly pursue all of them. Uh, and get them in custody before they strike again. It's very worried about the safety of, of the neighborhood because yes. mm -hmm. they, they're still, still around here. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News.